just making sure I don't stray away too much from that drawing, that previous drawing, since it's already sold and somebody else wants one similar to it. Is it live on YouTube? No. Why not? We can't tell live. Why not? Am I not supposed to have um, a certain amount of followers for live on YouTube? Okay. And then you could record, upload it. Live and then it'll upload on its own. Okay. Why? Because you're a subscriber. I thought it would wear the other one. To the other one. Hmm? No, it's not stressful. It's not stressful to watch uh, for people to watch me draw. I don't think. I guess we're kind of used to it, I don't really mind. Is this a hobby? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a hobby. It was part of my career as an artist and a graphic designer. Did I make a mistake? This is a bunch of mistakes that all look like something. That's all that is. It's pen though, so there's no erasing. Hi, Anna. Anna's here? What's up, Anna? Is the drawing inspired by anyone? No. <laughs> to be quite frankly, no. To be quite frankly. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. I have not, but if you take my class, that's going to be on Saturday. Um, you can talk to me on Zoom, and I'm going to be there, so that could be the face reveal if you want it. <laughs> it's 20 bucks for your spot. It's a drawing, a portrait drawing class. An hour long, maybe a little more, depending on how it goes. A lot of students will be there, we'll draw stuff, talk about our drawings, or bring in drawings you already have, and then we can critique it and stuff like that. It'll be fun. If you guys want to sign up for the class, over Zoom, um, DM me on Instagram. I'll save your spot for you. But I love watching your art. It makes it feel relaxing. It's inspiring to see talented people. You top of your school for drawing this? Okay. Go back to drawing then. Does his face have a gender? What does it look like? It's a guy. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm trying to draw a guy. Usually I change up the features a bit if it's a girl.
Hey, Mom. <laughs> done with that one. We're going to go to this one. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> style? I have a lot of art styles. And they kind of found me. I learned, I put all the things together, what I learned, what I do best what I enjoy doing, and that's what comes out the other end. What do you mean? I draw with music all the time. Playing, with music playing, if that's what the question is. But I'm assuming it's more complicated than that, what they're asking. What's up, Robot Pencil? Yeah. Anthony Jones. That's so sick. One of my inspira one of my main inspirations, but one of my main ones for sure. Yeah. Thanks for joining me, man. Arms getting tired. Charcoal is also my favorite medium, by the way. Never said that. I have no problem that you do charcoal sometimes. Dude, that would be so sick if you do tag me and I want to see it for sure. That's my favorite band, bro. <laughs> and apparently, you haven't joined me for other lives because usually that's what's playing. Okay, I do love that I just want to TikTok jumping on that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, dude. That's what kind of worked out for me. <clears throat> I had a couple digital art on Instagrams and I kind of went back and forth from traditional to digital to graphic design so um, I never really stuck with it but now I am. I enjoy it. I like it a lot. Hmm. No. It doesn't. I think art is anything that moves you. I do not think it requires... Like, technically, yes. Technically, something needs to be art. It needs to be, um, I guess, man-made or rendered in some way. But, in my opinion, I find art in even nature, so, which isn't man-made. So, in that case, it removes the human from the art aspect of the term. So, I would say anything that moves you is art, in my opinion. But, I know there's a lot of really good theories about what art actually is. And yeah. Oof, I'm just getting tired. 
an ASMR YouTube video, so I'm gonna write that down. That's funny too. Technically, yes. So I have a design in fine art. I mean, I'm a design. I have a degree in fine art and a degree in design, but um, the degree in design is more what I spent more time on. So, yeah. But I learned a lot on my own before our school. Our school just gave me that extra push on repetition and certain skills. Basically just sharpening the sword because most of what I learned was on my own. Just drawing a lot from my peers, from a few instructors. I wouldn't say directly from art school. Um, how long do you, do you usually take on a piece? Depending on the type of piece. These take around 20 to 30 minutes, I would say. And my charcoal pieces take about a few hours, a couple hours, a few hours. Yeah, I'm going to post the first YouTube video tonight for anyone who's interested. You can subscribe. It's in his, um, the link's in his TikTok bio. Yeah, so it'll probably be the, what, this, this live will be the YouTube video, right? Yeah. So it'll be the, um, it's, we have another, um, camera recording for a secondary view. And that's going to turn out to be the YouTube video. Um, if you guys are interested in buying any pieces, commissions, or in Josh's classes that he teaches, you guys can DM him on Instagram at matt.charcoal. One class is on Saturday morning. Gotta put these children to bed. How many kids do you have? Do you know? I don't know how many, but good night, Anthony yeah. Jones. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I remember when he was talking about it in his life. So, yeah. and sometimes you'd hear them every now and then, or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's really awesome, though. Thanks for hanging out. It's hanging out, man. It's really awesome to make them know that. I yeah, have, I have, I have seven awesome. siblings, so I come from a family of eight kids. So we haven't had kids yet, but this is my wife, Jordan. Yeah. That's cool, man. Kids are a blessing for sure. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, does someone talk Spanish? Speak Spanish? Josh speaks Spanish. I speak Spanish. <laughs> Cigarettes after sex on Shuffle. Somebody said hi, Jordan. Hi. We go on live daily. One to two times a day, most days. On the weekends, it's hit or miss, but... Yeah, we usually go on live. Most days. speak um, English and Spanish. Nothing else. I can understand Portuguese, but that's just because it's Spanish. Dude, isn't that awesome robot pencil? I learned so much from him. He is like one of the biggest graphic, like um, um, content artists, dude. For real. Like he works for the, it's insane, dude. Insane. I've talked to you about him a lot before. I know. Right? I didn't want to and freak like, out though when he was on there, but I was. I knew you'd think it was exciting. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just fangirling a little bit over who was on the live just now. Robot Pencil. I don't know if you guys know who Robot Pencil is, but check out his Instagram, Robot Pencil. On Instagram, he's one of the best concept artists, digital illustrators, digital drawers I've ever seen. I learned so much from him. And I was like fangirling while he was on here because he followed me here on TikTok. And um, 
and like because he's he's creating his following on tiktok now and um and i found him and i was like no way like that's so sick and he like responded to me and he's like what's up dude and because i used to take some like a little bit of his uh, courses online which you guys should take my courses online now but <laughs> um yeah not not his life courses but um like his tutorials and stuff that i would buy um it's robot pencil robot pencil anthony jones hi from brazil hi what pens do you use these are like these chinese pens or i don't know if they're japanese or chinese i think they're chinese so i don't know what the brand they are what brand they are but i have these three one's like a brush tip One's like a fine tip and one's like an ultra fine. I'm using the ultra fine to get um, the thin line gesture that I want to get right now. Otherwise, I'd be using the brush pen more so. Your voices are so relaxing. Thank We're you. actually uploading our first YouTube videos tonight of like the live sessions because a lot of people like to watch them but can't be there during the live. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe to Josh's YouTube and send it to my bio. You have to be one of the best.